temporary school project. It's a primary school with outdated and collapsing structures, not really safe for classes to be held in. We've been working on uh, two classroom design. It's a confined masonry building. We're using ISSB blocks and all locally used materials. Up to this moment, I know the scale of making these bricks, how we can lay them so that we can have a strong, stable house. So far, we have successfully designed the building and we've implemented the foundation and columns this summer. We have plans to implement the ring beam this winter and to finish the school by next summer. We've been really utilizing our partnerships, the professional chapter of engineers that borders for mentorship, Village Life for input on things specific to Tanzania and the construction, and Shed also for all the logistics. Still kind of amazed at the things that partners both in Tanzania and in the U.S. were able to do. We've been in close to 25 elementary and secondary schools and offering them some opportunities to, to do some service learning activities. You grow and you expand your knowledge about world issues, but at the same time you're meeting the academic expectations of the courses that you're taking. We have students in several schools making flashcards that will be taken over, that will have Luo and Swahili and English. We have learned the life that was done at Finneytown High School to put together a week of activities that really brought home what Village Life is about. Wyoming High School partnered with Village Life and the Marison Foundation to host a walk in their shoes where students walk from Spring Grove area down to Fountain Square and we were able to attract students from six other high schools and as a side benefit and it was a, a wonderful fundraising opportunity. To be successful in any kind of endeavor, particularly to the magnitude of Village Life, collaboration is the only way to go.